So what things uh, do we need to know as, as a part of basics of stats? We'll first start with mean, different types and different varieties, how to solve them on your calculator. Then certain other measures of central tendency. So we would also understand what is median. We will also understand what is mode. Then in the second part, we would understand measures of dispersion. Okay. So you would understand what is it. So we would cover range. We would cover a number called mat, variance and standard deviation. Once this is done, then we would start looking at numbers which would give you a relationship between different data sets. So you look at an important number called covariance, then important number called correlation and then the last thing that we would do today is understanding what are regressions. Okay. So let's start with mean, different types and varieties. The first one is of course a very simple arithmetic mean, AM. So how do you calculate AM? If you have three numbers, 10, 15 and 20, AM would simply be summation of all. So 10 plus 15 plus 20 divided by 3. Then the next one is weighted mean or weighted average. Okay, What is a weighted average? Let us say you have different students in a class. So if I tell you that 40% of the students have scored 20 marks. Then 20% of the students have scored 30 marks and remaining 40% of the students have scored 40 marks. What is the average score of the class? So you can simply calculate a weighted average which would be 40% into 20 which is 8, 30% into 20 which is 6, 40% into 40 is 16. Take a total of all of them and then the weighted average of the class would be 30. Now, <coughs> if 25% of the students have scored 10, 25% of the student have scored 20, another 25% have scored let us say 30 and another 25% have scored 40. What should be the weighted mean of this? Weighted mean of this would be mean, mean, weighted mean, mean chalice upar to nahi ja sakta. So, how you would calculate? One way of doing it, which what you should not do, but I'll still do it. You would say 2.5, 4, 7.5, 10. Correct? I'm just multiplying this into this into this into this. Then take a total. So that is 24. If I done it correctly, 2.5. This should be 5. So that is 25. But when the weights are exactly same, arithmetic mean and weighted mean is same. That's what it actually means. Uh, arithmetic mean simply means that every weight is exactly same. Hai. So, if you have total low, sub ka, ye 70, 90, so total of all of them is 100. 100 divided by 4, this is 25. So, what you would remember henceforth, that if weights of all the variables are same, that weight is nothing but a simple arithmetic mean. Or arithmetic mean assumes that weight of all the variables is same. Is this clear? Next number. Next mean that we study is called geometric mean. Okay, what is the formula for geometric mean? Root of nth root of x1 into x2 into xn. This is how you calculate geometric mean. Now, Let's understand what is the practical application of this. Let us say you have invested your money. First year you received a return of 10%. Second year you received 20%. How much money on an average have you earned over the period of two years? This is a question. Okay. Now if you take arithmetic mean the answer is how much? 15. But this answer is incorrect because you have not earned 15% on average. So how much? So let's experiment on your calculator. First we will do a simple logic here. So <coughs> second clear TVM 100 into or simply 100 plus 10% equal to. So that will give us 110. 
plus 20% equal to will give us 132 which means my 100 rupees at the end of year 2 have become 132 clear everyone now let me use time value of money let me set this amount as future value second clear TVM this amount is future value negative 100 as my present value I invested for how many years? 2 years. So my 2 is N. Compute IY, you've actually earned 14.89% per year. You haven't earned 15%, you've earned 14.89. Why? Because when you deal with percentage, arithmetic mean fails. The mean that you have to calculate is geometric mean. So had I calculated a geometric mean here, how? Second root, because there are two variables. Second root of 1.1, 1, 1 plus 10%, 1.1 into 1.2. Karo calculate. So on your calculator, 1.1 into 1.2 equal to 1.32. And if I take under root of this, second root is simply under root. So under root, it's giving me 1.15 minus 1. It's giving me 0.5. I'm saving this. My decimals are not sufficient as of now. Let me change the setting. Second format 9 enter second quit RCL 1 14.89. Let me do it one more time 1.1 into 1.2 equal to under root 1.1489, which means it's the geometric mean that you have to calculate when you're dealing with percentage. Should I repeat again or is this clear? Yes, do you want me to repeat? Please be honest. How do you calculate geometric mean with percentage? If you have percentage, two values here. So, 2. Second root. 1 plus 10% into 1 plus 20%. This will give you 1.1489. 1 rupee will become 1.1489, therefore 14.89%. Let's try one more. If you've invested, Interest rate for first year is 30%, second year 40%, third year 50%. Arithmetic mean is how much? Arithmetic mean is how much? Arithmetic mean. 40 hoga na arithmetic mean. 30 plus 40 plus 50 divided by 10. Arithmetic mean is 40. But you haven't earned 40% per year. If you want to know that, you have to calculate geometric mean. So, how do you calculate geometric mean? There are three values. So, root 3 under root 1 plus 30 percent into 1 plus 40 percent into 1 plus 50 percent. So, how do you do it on your calculator? 1.3 into 1.4 into 1.5 equal to we have to take third root of this. So y raised to x bracket open 1 divided by 3 bracket close equal to 1.3976 which means 39.76% is the geometric mean. Is this clear? If I want to use time value of money to confirm if this calculation is correct, how will I do it? I start with 100 plus 30% equal to 130 plus 40 percent equal to 182 plus 50 percent equal to 273 in three years my hundred rupees will become 273 273 is my future value 100 negative since the signs have to be opposite is my present value I have invested for three years so three is my n compute IY the answer would be same 39.76 so which means that TVM row is actually doing the geometric compounding and that's why it's always giving us the geometric mean and what is the meaning of geometric mean that when you get 30 plus 30 you don't say 13 to 2 you say 1 plus 30 percent raised to 2 that's the meaning of geometric raised to or under root clear the last type of mean we want to study is called harmonic mean So, 
what is harmonic mean the formula is n divided by 1 plus x1 plus 1 plus x2 plus 1 plus x3 plus 1 plus xn for example if i ask you to calculate harmonic mean of following numbers 10 15 and 20 how will you calculate there are total how many values three values so 3 divided by 1 plus 10 plus 15 plus 1 by 20 and then this is your harmonic mean clear now which mean to use when okay so when you're dealing with anything that doesn't compound numbers weights kgs then the mean that you want to use is arithmetic mean okay so for weights or kgs of course weight compounds but <coughs> weights kgs or centimeters these kind of units arithmetic mean when you are dealing with percentages which compounds percentage always compounds you know this person those are ten percent two years on hundred is not 120 it's 121 it grows that time the mean that we use is geometric mean okay and do you remember from your 10th grade how do you calculate speed distance upon time and how do you calculate the average of speed you use harmonic mean when you are dealing with ratios so speed is what it's already a ratio distance upon time so when you are calculating mean of certain ratios that time the appropriate mean that should be used is not arithmetic not geometric it has to be harmonic okay so when do you use harmonic mean when you are calculating mean of certain ratios so we would be studying a lot of ratios okay for example delta is a ratio a number delta which is associated with options when you want to calculate mean of deltas which is already a ratio appropriate mean is going to be harmonic mean not arithmetic mean are we clear so we're through with all the three means